Hi, I'm Ted McDonald, a member of the OpenDXL development team. This is Getting Started with OpenDXL Part 3. In this video, we will be deploying and configuring the OpenDXL MaxMind service to provide IP geolocation lookup over a DXL fabric. This is a continuation of the series from Part 2, where we configured an OpenDXL console to communicate with the DXL fabric. First, we need to provision certificates and configuration files to allow the OpenDXL MaxMind service access to our fabric. In our Cloud Commander terminal, let's change to our mounted OpenDXL directory. Let's try to run the DXL client module first, using python-m DXL client. This shows us the different commands available from the command line. For now, we're only interested in provision config, so let's try to run that. We can see the required parameters from the help. So let's specify a new directory to hold our MaxMind configuration. The host name can be either our McAfee ePolicy Orchestrator server or our OpenDXL broker. If the OpenDXL broker is running on the same Docker host as our environment, like it is in our case, we can just put Docker host and it will reach the OpenDXL broker. And finally, let's specify a common name for our MaxMind certificate. OpenDXL-MaxMind-CN. Now it's prompting for the credentials to our server. We can see our certificate and configuration files have been generated. Back in KiteMatic, let's search for the OpenDXL MaxMind image. And let's create a new container from that image. Now that it's deployed, we need to go to the Volume section under Settings and map the DXL MaxMind service-config directory to the directory we created earlier containing the configuration files that we generated. Back on the Home tab, we can see the logging output, and there we can see our MaxMind service has connected to DXL. Now let's return to our OpenDXL console and send it a request. In the upper left Services pane, we can see our new MaxMind service has appeared. If we expand it, we can see all the request topics that it's servicing, in this case only one. If we click on that request topic, it will populate that information into our send message pane so that we only need to provide the payload. The OpenDXL MaxMind service expects a JSON string, which has either a host or IP element. So let's specify OpenDXL.com as our host and send message. We can see our response has already arrived. If we double click, we can see the full geolocation report that MaxMind has provided us. This has been the Getting Started with OpenDXL video series. If you'd like to learn more about OpenDXL, please head over to OpenDXL.com and check out the articles and solutions posted there. If you're interested in developing your own OpenDXL solutions, then the GitHub wikis for the OpenDXL projects have extensive guides on how to get started.